Evening, Katya. Evening, dear. How were the meats today? Cold and red. I think the harvest will be quite sparse this year. <sighs> we may not even have enough to feed the whole collective. Are we to starve then? Who knows? <sighs> There's not enough on this piece of dirt to feed the two of us, much less the whole collective. And after the state takes its share... The state don't take its share, comrade. The proletariat donates its share for the glory of the Soviet <laughs> Republic. Where did you come from? How did you get in there? Get in where? There. There? Da, there. The closet. H how did you get in the closet? Well, I ain't in the closet. What are you saying? I'm some kind of fairy? No, I... You are a comrade Stalin, right? Yep, pleasure to meet you. You can call me Joe. Uh, Joe, I, uh... Ain't you gonna offer me some of that coffee? Maybe even a biscuit or a banana or something? Hmm. We only have the one banana. There's not even enough to feed the two of us. Well, that's alright. I'm sure you wouldn't mind the redistribution of assets. After all, that damn closet stuffy is a grizzly bear's cornhole, and this one over here... He got a paper mill in his trousers. But Joe, what were you doing in the closet in the first place? Is that any way to address the Supreme Soviet? But you told me to call you. You will give the proper respect to the office, goddammit, or one of these boys will show you what balkanization means. Ain't that right, Nicky? Yes, Your Excellency. Just follow along. He's had a purging that, well, he gets a little randy. Now what was you asking me again? What are you doing in our closet? I ain't in your closet. You don't have a closet. Your closet is the state's closet. And I am part of the state, so really it's my closet. And his closet, and his closet, and it's all our closets. But it's my closet first. What are you doing in your closet, then, Supreme Soviet? I couldn't help but overhear your criticism of the collective. Is you some kind of counter-revolutionary? Oh, it was not really a criticism, Supreme Soviet. Uh, just an observation. I'm. You, you see the table. You see the house. There's, there's nothing to eat. That sounds a lot like criticism to me. Sounds like doubt. A great big old tater sack full of doubt. You wouldn't be doubting the Politburo's decisions now, would you? No, no, of course not. Cause you know, once that Politburo gets his mind made up to do something. It's gonna do it, and ain't no sense in trying to talk it out of it. Know what I mean? It's got itself focused on the goal, on that prize. You just trying to hold it back, well, well that's unpatriotic. <laughs> it might even be... Uh, what's that word, Nicky? Free thinking? No, not that word. The other one, that, that one that starts with a... What letter did that start with? A T? Taco? Now don't you try distracting me with them tacos again. Uh, trepidatious. No. Trellis? Tandy? Transmogrification. No, no, it's shorter than that. Franklin Delano Roosevelt? How in the fuck does that start with a goddamn T? That's not even an adverb. Adjective. That's what I said. That's not even an adjective. Treason. That's the word. It's almost treason. But I was just... Yeah, I know your type. All treason and sedition. Seditious. You might as well be one of them fat cat academic types all stirring up trouble like Trotsky. But Comrade Stalin, sir, we weren't stirring up trouble. Just lamenting the lack of food. Laments? Who you think you are? Tolstoy? Alright, where is it? Where is that printing press? I know you got one. Is it over here? Printing press? Where would we hide the printing press? You damn counter-revolutionarians is smart little buggers. Is it under here? Comrade Khrushchev, help us. 
We have no printing press. What is it that Comrade Stalin wants? Best just to humor him, old boy. <sighs> oh, and I'm not here. No, really, I'm not here. You do not see me. But Comrade Khrushchev... La la, la 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 la, <laughs> can't hear you, not here. But Supreme Soviet, we aren't hiding a printing press. We can't even read Russian. Can't read Russian? You damn foreign counter-revolutionarist. I knew it. Guards, restrain him. I knew you was kind of revolutionistas. What are you, fish and chip eating British bastards? Sausage <laughs> eating Germans? I bet you some goddamn Germans. <sighs> but, Comrade Stalin, how could we be counter revolutionaries? <gasps> the revolution is over. You won. Wouldn't we just be revolutionaries? <sighs> See? See, Nicky? I told you they were spreading sedition. <laughs> And you wanted to go to the courts. What the hell them damn judges gonna tell me that I don't already know? Take him away. Don't let me hear from him again till I got his signed confession. Did I hear you say you had some beets cooking? Well, hurry up, woman. Rooting out rebellion gets a man hungry something powerful. Bring on the vets. <laughs>